Bonjour. 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 Today, we are going to be baking a trip to France. Oui, oui. Which means we're going to be making our favorite French pastry, the king of all pastries, the best pastry, croissants. Now, they might seem intimidating to make, but... They are. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're going to make them, and we're going to make them dairy-free. First, we're going to add is it three and a half cups. Three and a quarter, okay. Quarter cup of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. We're also using instant yeast instead of active dry yeast. And then one tablespoon of salt. It's a lot of salt. <laughs> it's a lot of salt. <laughs> Croissants are a delicate pastry. <laughs> All right, we will mix and then add one and a half cups of milk. We're using soy milk. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix this for about five minutes until it's like a nice soft, Slightly sticky, but not really sticky sticky, because it's the same. Mm -hmm. So since our dough is a little wet, we're gonna add just a bit more flour to... Five minutes later. I think it should be a French voice. Oh, five? Five? Let's hear your, let's hear your French accent. Get a little... Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Five minutes later. Ha ha ha. Five minutes later. Still a bit of Irish in there. It's a bit Irish. Throw this into a bowl covered in plastic wrap in the fridge for an hour. En français? Oui, oui. Comme si, comme ça? Bien. Je m'appelle Bamba Le Mousse. Just oui, oui. Random French words. This is la the bibliothèque. extent. <laughs> This is the extent of our French. And we both learned French and we've both been to France a couple times. Actually, France was the very first trip I ever took internationally. It was the first time ever getting on like a big airplane and flying out of the country. You went to Paris, went right? Went to Paris in 11th grade when I was 16 years old. Pretty cool. It was a fun trip. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'd imagine Paris. It was a bit of a school. mess. We were all legal drinking age there at the time. <laughs> Everyone on the trip, except for two students, got suspended. Oh, clearly. Clearly our French Riviera trip doesn't compare to that. That was an awesome trip, though. I think my favorite part was just visiting all the cute little French villages. Yeah. That they were... And eating all the French food. Oh, and yeah. the fresh croissants. Oh, the fresh croissants. But seriously, we rented a, a car and then we just got to... Drive around the French Riviera for three days. Yep. And then we also went to Cannes. We went to Nice. Mm -hmm. South of France is just... Beautiful. Super pretty. So pretty. Everything is pretty. The architecture, the beaches, the food, everything. All right. All right, butter time. <laughs> Let's get to some butter. You can kind of use your plastic wrap to keep it in those dimensions. And then you're just kind of squeezing all the butter together into one solid brick. Again, we're just winging this because... Because croissants aren't a delicate French pastry no, that require precision. Not at all. No. Or what was your favorite French trip overall? Out of all your times to France, what was your favorite area? I love the French Riviera. Yeah? That was really fun. Bordeaux was actually really fun too. I really enjoyed Bordeaux. You just drank a ton of wine? I did. <laughs> Might have been why I enjoyed it so much. I also really liked the, I don't know what region it is, but it's in the south of France. It was one of the castles we went to. It was a really beautiful castle. Um, I think it was like, uh, Castle de Chambeau. I'll put the name here. All right, we have our brick of butter. So now we want to cool this. We want to make sure that it's cold and hard when we add it to the dough. So our dough is still proofing for like another 50 minutes. So mm -hmm. hopefully this has enough time in the fridge to get nice and solid. One hour later. Voila, voila. It rose a bit. Maybe mixing recipes wasn't the way to go. <laughs> We're going to roll this out into a rectangle. We need some French wine right now. Yeah, why aren't you drinking French wine? I don't know. That was a, that was a mistake. I have the batar. And then we are going to fold it over just like so. And we just roll this back out into another rectangle. Then you're gonna fold it into thirds. So now we have nine layers. Mm. And we'll continue doing that. This is gonna go back in the fridge and we'll bring it back out and fold it again. That's what gives you the flaky, buttery croissant layers. Oui, oui. I'm, I'm a graceful assistant. All right, I'll go get some wine. I'm gonna let you do this one. <laughs> Is 
that because you got your wine? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Some fine French wine from uh, the liquor store in a la box. You bought a box of wine. <laughs> La Village de France, mm. uh, as they say. This is like mm. quarantine wrapped up in a nutshell. A uh, box of wine and baking. Um, so we have nine layers. That will create 18 layers. Oui, oui. And then that will be 27. Mm, très bon. Mm -hmm. Two glasses of wine later. Deux. The next day. After our five folding laminations of last night, we then put our dough into the fridge to chill for the rest of the evening. Today though, we get the fun parts, which is shaping the croissants. Uh, or the eating, eating the croissants is the fun part. That actually. is the fun part. We did have some issues with the dough rolling it out and folding it last night. And I think it's because of the vegan butter. I've made croissants three times now. And the only other time it did this where the layers started kind of peeling apart was using the other vegan butter. And I think mm. it's because it's softer than typical butter. So we're just gonna cut this in half and now we're just gonna roll this out until it's about a quarter inch thick. Now we just cut it up into some triangles. So you're using a pizza cutter, very smart. Once you have your triangles cut mm -hmm. out. Then you pitch the quarters and then you just kind of roll. And just roll from fat end up to skinny end. These are gonna be like little mini croissants. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably gonna have scraps at the end of the dough at either end. Let's chuck some chocolate in there. Cover these, let them rise at room temperature for about an hour. One hour later. Okay, so it's been an hour. They've puffed up a little bit. Yeah, they're looking a bit better. I don't know how these are gonna turn out. They're <laughs> gonna be ugly croissants. These will go in the oven. Mm -hmm. For 400 degrees Fahrenheit for like, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. Now, normally you would also put an egg wash on this, but again, we're doing vegan, so no egg wash on ours. They're not the prettiest croissants we've ever made before. <laughs> yeah. See if all our hard work paid off. Like three days of baking, two days of baking croissants. So just so you know, if you want to make croissants, don't take our advice. Don't do it this way. Uh -uh. I don't know why these didn't turn out. They're just like, they look good on the outside, but the inside, they're just still doughy. And I thought we cooked them for long enough, but like maybe we, it, I think it was just longer in the oven, but I feel like it's, they're, they're getting- They're already getting so dark on the outside. I know, it's still raw. So don't bake your own croissants, just go to France and get the real stuff. Cause we don't know how to do it. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Does not turn out. Anyways though, I hope you enjoyed this video at least reminiscing about our French trips and uh, we'll see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye. Half an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs>